Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing a versus, the Psyonix Aurora Sport versus the PVS7 with a Gen 3 tube. Now this is, you can buy this off Amazon, I'll be doing a video on this shortly. This system costs about $3,000. I managed to get a pretty good deal on it, so I only spent about $1,900 on it, which is pretty sweet if I do say so myself. While this itself costs... Well, it used to cost about 400 bucks. Now they're quite uncommon. All right. So tonight, it is pitch black. Let me just turn off the light. As you can see, there is little to no sunlight. You can see a little fire burning over there. But with the naked eye, you cannot see Jack. So this is perfect. So we'll start off. Did I leave these on? I shouldn't have. No, no, I didn't. I scared myself for a minute because there's... No, okay. Because they're set to the on position. Okay, okay, okay. So let's start off with our good old Psyonix Aurora Sport. So I'll just flick this on. This can actually record video, so it does make it quite useful. But let's get a little look-see out there. Hold on, let me just turn off the lights so I don't get all that cheating going on and right now you can see absolutely nothing with the naked eye but we'll bring this out you can see it's quite grainy but you still can see stuff Let's see, like you can see stuff it's not terribly dark outside but it definitely is better than your eye. You can see the fire going on over there. You can see this big old field, the house, and over here, all the cameras I have turned off. But you can see a definite amount more than what you can see with your naked eye, which is quite nice. And this is on the color mode, so if I were to switch it, I don't know, it's hard to do this with two hands, but. Let's switch it to gray scale. Let me hold that down. Let's go to night glow. And we'll go to gray scale. You can see it looks better. Let's just turn off the over there. I always forget how you turn that off. Okay, I think it just goes away. Come on, it's harder to do. Let's just go like that there. And you can see you can see better out of it. And it's able to see a decent amount. It's not amazing. And up close, it's hard to really make out all that much. See, like right now we got the sky, but if we go inside where there's no, dark, no brightness at all, you can't see anything at all. It's completely black. We're now inside the building and it's just nothing. But we look outside and we got some light out there, so it's it's not terrible, but inside you can see pretty much nothing. Oh, there you can see a little something. I don't know what that is. I think we're getting some glare. Okay. But outside it's it's not terrible. You can still see around. Okay, so let me just find a light. And now we have light again. Now you can see everything in here, right? This is a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> You've got this tool and stuff. Now for the real puppies. So let's just, you can see what they look like. Oh, I can see myself. Hello. Okay. So let's just turn off the lights. Right now they got the lens cap on, so technically we could still use it with the, in the light, but let's just turn off the lights or remove the lens cap. Let me just put the necklace around so I don't scare myself. Because if I drop this and broke it, I'd literally die. <laughs> okay, let's just give me a second. Sorry, y'all. Just there. Okay, now we'll turn them on. They make a light noise when they come on. And as you can see, it's night and day. 
you can see everything out here it's real vivid looking it's not the easiest to record with your phone but you can see everything and even inside where there's absolutely no light you can still see some stuff i don't think i have this set up on the best it can go because like it has a built-in illuminator but the illuminator is not on outside you can see everything come on phone sit still okay yeah right now i can still see stuff it's like right now i can still see stuff but like you can see everything it's like there's a plane up there fire looks super bright let me just switch it to this one Maybe that one look better. oh that's much better i need to clean the lenses <laughs> but you can see everything it's all nice and bright and now let's just turn on the illuminator built in illuminator come on sit still yeah see now my eyes have adjusted i can see better out here so i think i go like this <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to do one handed. Okay, now I can turn on the illuminator. And now you can see everything quite easily because you are providing your own light. And that's all invisible to the naked eye, of course. But let's see in here. See, it looks better with your own eyes, but you can still definitely see stuff. Like, it's... come on, there. So now let's go zero light. So now there is absolutely no light being generated on the inside. Only through those little vents can you actually see stuff. But as you can see, it's definitely going to be tough to move around, but it is definitely doable. But then we go back to the more realistic because there's really no time where you have absolutely zero brightness. Like right now, it is fairly dark. You can see some light bits of clouds, but that's about it. But with these, it's bright as day. You can see everything with these. Nice Gen 3 tube, you can see it all. Everything is available to you. Of course, I do have a phone though, but it's not, it's not the easiest to put on, but this shows, shows off my point. You can see everything. I'm going to try and get some Gen 2s. Now I just turn off my night vision. Turn that back on. Yes, this is... A Gen 3 with green phosphorus. They're pretty slick. And just set those back down. Put the cover back on. It's cool. My dad's ex-military, so he was showing me everything about it. I turned it off. I was like, how can it see through the plastic? It's because there's an itty-bitty hole right there. And it can see perfectly fine. So let's compare these. So this is, again... When it came out, I got these for about 250 So if you're lucky, you can find them for that much. But most of the time, you're going to find them for three to 500 right? And these ones, if you're lucky like me, I got them for, I think, 1900 And normally, like these, you can actually buy these straight off Amazon. And they cost uh, $3,000. It's the eight. I'll be making a video on this shortly, just showing this off. It's going to be titled something stupid like, I bought night vision off Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is comparable to like Gen 1 Plus. If you have an illuminator, this will do you good. It works really well, but its only problem is, is it doesn't zoom very well. Well, this, you can see pretty much as far as your eye can see, and it, it works really well. But that's, when you're talking about something that costs six times as much as this, you'd, well, not six, it's two, four, six, yeah, six, six. When you're talking about something that's exponentially more expensive, you'd expect it to work a lot better. Yeah. 
Okay, well that's gonna finish up this video. I'll be making another video on this, so if you guys wanna see that, stick around. Good old Sonics Aurora Sport. It works really well for a nighttime camera. Though it does only shoot in 720p, but what you gonna do? And I don't even think I had it set to all the best settings it can go, so. Let's turn that on, and we were at, yeah, we're only at 24, so technically it can get a bit better. You can put it down all the way to 7.5, but 24 is about the best you can do to where it's actually usable. Oh, that reminds me. So this is something that you really have to think about. So even with, like, PDS 14 is, like, the main thing you'll see people with, where it'll be a single monocle like this. But this one, I have the head strap back in the house. This one is analog, so there is no lack of frame rate, and it has the exact same field of view as you do, while this one is digital. So it suffers from lack of frames. So at 60 FPS, it sees pretty good. Even at 30 FPS, it sees pretty good. 34, you can start to get sick. You start to notice it more. And when you get lower than that, it's, it's kind of hard to use. Like 24 is where I was able to use this pretty good. You can get these big old head mounts for this. I never did it. I just like to mess around with it. But that is another thing to consider. This will not be anywhere close to actual analog night vision. And that's just because of how technology works right now. You can get better digital night vision, but you will be spending more than this. So, yeah. Uh, for If you have an illuminator, though, this one will suit you perfectly fine. You'll be able to see a lot at night. It'll be a little bit harder to move. But if you have an illuminator that's good, then this one will work. It'll get get the job done. That's how I used it from. Because when I, when I did my advancement, it went from spending like $30, where I literally just built night vision using a night owl FPV camera and then hooking it up to a like a, a little tiny 3.4 inch LCD. They had like a, an analog cord on there. And that actually worked pretty well. But it's nothing compared to this, of course. But this, again, 10 times more expensive than the $30 one I built. And this, if this is 300, then this is 10 times more expensive than that. So you can see where the progression goes. Uh, let's see, I think. Of course, this has its own recording. You can do a lot more with, like, recording-wise with this. And this one's, unless you have a uh, special software, it's always going to look like you're in a circle. It's just how it is. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with that. See, this is what you'll learn, is once you get something like this, everybody calls low, like, Gen 1... And digital, they call it the gateway drug. Because whenever you get it, you're doomed to get one of these. Because you have a little bit of fun with it. And it's just at the edge of where it works really good, but it's not like perfect. And you don't have where you can use it effectively. And then you get one of these. And that's what everybody is always saying. They say, just avoid this and go straight for one of these. You as, you, as I said, you can find them for, for varying prices. Gen 2 is pretty much where you want to base at because Gen 1 is pretty much terrible. Yeah. You can buy them super cheap. You can get them for 50 to 150 bucks, and they'll be varying in quality. Like, I plan on getting one pretty soon just to show it off. Be like some Russian one. But they really don't do very well and you'll just be spending more money in the long run so i mean if you're wanting to do a little toy and just to mess around with it and see it gen 1 and gen 2 will definitely push your boat and this will get you going but honestly i just go straight to one of these but these will get you into the sport well if there would i don't really do it for sport i do it because it's fun <laughs> so it'll get you into it but Honestly, if you want to start, try building your own. That'll probably be your best bet. And then you can play with that for a little while. And then I'll tell you if you really like it or not. And then you can either go from this or just go straight to one of these. Because this is this is the top of the line. This is where you finish at. This is the end point. 
they're really fun to use. And see, the guy I bought this from, he actually used this for uh, looking at stars, which is kind of cool. I never thought about that, but I can't really show it off today because there's a bunch of clouds. Even this one, though, it did good with stars. I remember this was actually kind of crazy. First day I was using this, I look up and Starlink was going over. I was like, what the heck is that? And then I realized it was Starlink. First day I'm using this, same thing. It was, that was just something kind of funny. I don't know. Both, I got to see Starlink with them as they first came going around. So I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I've got these pretty crazy things. If you guys got any questions or you want any follow-up videos, leave it down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I can usually get it done in a timely manner because I'll get the notifications right on my phone and I can answer them immediately. I can make a video only at night with these because, of course, it's night vision, so I'd expect you'd only want to use them at night. Okay, well, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys all later. Until then, goodbye.